Happy No Spend January, everyone! We are getting ready to go on a walk with the fan. I'm just about to do my makeup. I'm not going to do much because I'm going to pop you on my lipsticks. Um, because we're just going out with the family. But I've started using retinol, so I'm having a little bit of um, breakouts. So, you know, just put some primer on. But it's no spend January. I need to, today, I need to um, delete my shopping app which everyone keeps saying is really scary. It sounds really scary and it is really scary because I'm a serial browser. <laughs> I love to browse and buy things, but often I'm adding things to my basket just for fun. <laughs> so yes, it's shopping apps, but it's a temptation, isn't it? Because you get the notification through that's like 15% off and then you're like, oh, I might as well buy my basket whilst, what's in my basket whilst there's money off out with the family today i don't know if everyone's going to the pub obviously we're not because no spend jan and actually i doubt my mum will because she's doing no spend jan although my dad's not my dad does not like doing no spend jan we are on our way for our family walk and i've just seen that my auntie's bringing a flask my mum's bringing christmas cake ads mm. um so that we don't stop at a cafe or a pub or anything because me my mum and my auntie are all doing no spend january so that's a way to save, bring flasks and things, and then you can just sit on a bench and eat, drink there instead of spending money. Because even, like, how much is it for us three to get drinks as, like, a tenner? Yeah, like... Even more, probably, about 12 quid. Yeah. yeah. Drinks. drinks. For... Oh, okay. Seven to ten quid, Adam said. Yeah, because I guess about three pound each, isn't it? Yeah. But then we end up buying, like, we might buy a drink for my mum or... Do Adam has just made us dinner. Look how insane this looks. We had some leftover salmon that needed eating up. So he's made salmon gnocchi and salady bits as well. Um, I think he got it from a old Gusto recipe card, but it looks absolutely amazing. So today has gone really well, the first day of no spend, January. Just about to take my makeup off. I had a headache, so I had an afternoon nap, hence the makeup all over my face. Adam did suggest getting a McDonald's on the way home, but he did not. <laughs> so I'm just about to take my makeup off, then we're gonna watch a new drama that Adam wants to see. So tomorrow is day two, which is um, writing down all the meals we have in the house. So I need to do an online food shop, so that coincides quite nicely. Um, we do have quite a lot of things in, it's just we need like fresh bits, then lunch bits. I think we've probably got enough for dinners, we might need the odd thing like veg and to make you know dinners up um apart from that yeah no spenders going well have you made your lunch for tomorrow Ads? what's that have you made lunch for tomorrow uh, not yet, not oh. adam's a sucker for a meal deal aren't you Ads? who isn't to be fair yeah so we're trying to be prepared and prep lunches and snacks before we go out um and then i mean ideally we'll carry that on <laughs> throughout the year because it just gets so expensive eating out or just grabbing snacks. It adds up so quickly. So, yes, that's the plan. So I'm just going to finish Dave and Mo cup up. Then we're going to watch telly. And then tomorrow, Adam's back to work. Everything gets back to normal. And another day of no spend. I've moved over to my camera now, so the quality might have suddenly changed. Um, we have just woken up, hence the... <laughs> lunchtime so I'm gonna make Harry some lunch then I'm gonna do day three which is sort out the cupboards write the cupboards write down the cupboards and everything he's gonna have lunch at nursery from next week so I'm gonna practice making him he's very fussy so I'm gonna practice making him little lunch boxes all week 
and then he can get used to eating from the lunchbox, having cold food, because often for lunch I'll do like egg and crumpets or muffins, like warm things. So yes, let's make Albie some lunch. This is the lunchbox that I got from him. It's from Tiddlers and Nippers. Um, it does have a knife as well that is in the drawer. But um, it's like this bento box so I can fill it with different things. Abby doesn't really like his food touching and he likes to kind of see everything and like graze, nibble. So I thought this would be a good <laughs> um, purchase for Abby. He does have a lunch bag as well for this to go in. Um, but this is the actual lunch box. So I'm just going to fill that with some of his favourite things, maybe some new foods as well. And yeah, get him ready for lunch at nursery next week. I've just had some parcels arrive, which obviously I'm doing no spend January. These are things I ordered in December, so for the next week or so I have a few parcels coming. Then the hard, you know, is going to kick in because I'll have no parcels coming to give me that dopamine hit, obviously. So the first parcel is from the Paw Prince, and they had a sale on, so I thought I'd get a few bits for Stanley. Such a bad dog mum, like I literally treat him like my child, oh my god. So I got him this little hoodie. Uh, and then this one too. This is why I need to be stopped. This is why we're doing no spend January. Did I, did my dog need hoodies? Probably not. Although he does get very cold because he's so small. Say hi, what do you think? What do you think? <laughs> he looks so cute. Stanley! Right, I just had to pause because Spider-Man needed his mask back on and he needed some biscuits. Right, now, the next parcel is from H&M and they had like 15% off the basket. This is what I mean with no spend January, like when yesterday it was deleting apps because it will come up like 15% off on your basket and I'll just do it, which is ridiculous. So, but I did this time get him some things. In my defence, he did, oh my God, there's another thing for Stanley here. In my defence, he is, he's going up in sizes so he does need more clothes, so... You know, obviously I usually buy him a clothes second hand and I've always championed second hand buying. But with Vinted, I find the fees at the moment, the fees are so high, like for postage and the buy protection fee. Sometimes you're better off buying something new. Like, I can't remember how much they were, but these leggings, there are two packs of leggings. I got, like, in one, I don't know where my order card is. I'll try and find it and I'll put a picture up, but I got him these leggings. Um, in three to four so they'll be a bit big for the moment but I got him these and I, I'm going to guess they're about 7 99 for two if I'd ordered them on Vinted they'd have been what let's say £2 for two pairs then another £2.50 for um, postage plus another almost a pound by protection fee I mean that's £6 so <laughs> and obviously leggings don't wash you know as well so I thought, well, I might as well, for the extra sake of a pound or two, I might as well buy them new, and then at least he's got more use out of them. I Don't get me wrong, I love secondhand, and I buy lots of Zara, especially secondhand. But things like H&M, it's just, sometimes it's cheaper to buy it new. <laughs> These next ones were in the sale. I can't remember how much, but they were cheap, I remember. And they are just these little joggers with bears on for Albie. Then... I couldn't resist because last time H&M had their Smiley World collab, I was like, oh, maybe I'll get that. Went off it. Then I was like, yes, right, I'm going to get out of those bits. Went back on it and they'd sold out within a few hours. So as soon as I saw it, I grabbed these trousers. They're just jeans and I thought these would be adorable in the spring. You know, when the weather starts to change and it's still a bit chilly, but you want to start wearing like brighter colours and spring colours. So I got him those in two to three they're in. Abby's got quite short legs, so I don't know if they will fit him, but 18 to 24 is just too small for him now. Um, 
so I tend to buy, I've been buying two to four or three to four sometimes if I don't mind like holding on to them while he grows into them. Then, oh this is really cute, I've also got him this grey jumper, it's again the smiley eyes one. Yes darling? Then I saw somebody had this on Instagram so obviously I had to buy it, again for Stanley. Um, <laughs> I know, I mean I probably didn't need to buy him as many clothes as I have done but because he's so small and he's so close to the ground, I'm constantly washing jumpers for him. I don't think this is going to fit. <laughs> that is adorable. <laughs> there you go, say hi everyone. Obviously it's not a dash hound one. Because um, some places you can get like dash hound sizes. But this is how much of him it covers. So that's my little haul of things I bought in the January, in the January sales, but I bought them in December. So I haven't broken no spend Jan. <laughs> I've made Adam and I, normally we don't have this much, but neither of us have eaten much today. I've eaten nothing and Adam only had um, noodles, I think, for lunch. So we're having quite a big dinner, but it is just this prawn, like basically what we had leftovers. And I found some tagliatelle, so I'm so excited for this. It looks so good. I've spent January, day two is almost over. And... It's gone really well. I'm su so surprised with how much I've saved so far. Like hundreds. Oh, no, just doing today, I obviously did the cupboard list and the fridge list of everything that was in, that we have in. And I, we just, <laughs> I cannot get over that like, I was ready to do an Asda V shop and just add more food. Well, we've got over 20 meals. Like that's ridiculous. I don't even know what I'm thinking. I'm gonna bulk cook maybe tomorrow. Um, I've got fish fingers that I need to bulk cook and sauce because I had all those tin tomatoes. Who has nine tins of tomatoes in their cupboard? Thing is, is because I quite like making homemade sauce, is I guess I just um, keep buying it on every food shop and then I don't get around to making it. So then I forget we already have them because I have ADHD, so I mean, maybe everyone does that, but especially I'm very forgetful. Um, yeah, so then I forget we have it and I've already bought the doubles, but I mean, it's ridiculous. There's loads for Adam to cook for lunches as well. The only thing I am gonna need to top up on is fresh things. So what I've done is I've listed all the meals I wanna make and then also I made a list of extra things we need for those meals. Um, and then just, you know, the classic stuff um, like bread for sandwiches and breakfast and things like that. Um, but I just cannot get over <laughs> how much food we had in and I didn't even realise. I'm, I'm ashamed, like, here I am talking about budget life. I live on a budget and then my food cupboards replicate an Asda supermarket aisle. <laughs> I'm doing my skincare every night at the moment, which is big for me because I used to just sleep in my makeup and it feels so nice. <laughs> I've started using retinol because apparently you should use retinol in your mid twenties, and I am in my mid twenties. Um, so in like twenty years' time, hopefully I'll be grateful for myself. But I'm just getting ready for bed. I actually fell asleep when I was putting Abby to bed. My phone charge just broke, so my phone was charging on Adam's like wireless thing, which I don't actually like those wireless things because you can't go on your phone whilst it's charging because it's a nightmare to hold. And then, um. So I fell asleep. Normally when Albie's asleep, I'll just sit on my phone. You know, when his eyes are closed, obviously. But I'll sit on my phone until it's safe to move. Um, but yeah. So I'm going to go to bed. We just watched that Postmaster, Mr Bates v the Post Office thing, which is insane. If you haven't watched it, I really recommend we're on episode three. I just can't believe they got away with it for so long. They were on this morning earlier and it just has shocked us a lot that it just was going on and no one did anything about it. I mean, these people were 
like going to jail for no reason. But yeah. So I'm gonna go to bed and I'll see you tomorrow for day three of No Spend January. Hello everyone, it's now the afternoon. <laughs> it's day three of No Spend January. I had we had the worst night's sleep last night. Albie was up, Stanley was up, the dog. It was just absolute carnage. So <laughs> So far this morning we've had a really lazy morning. I'm still in my pyjamas, so it's Albie. I think we might just end up having a pyjama day. Sometimes you need a PJ day, especially after Christmas <laughs> and the madness. So I'm just making us lunch. I'm making us um, tuna pasta because that's one of Albie's favourites. And we have lots of tuna, sweet corn and pasta that he's using up. Okay. Hmm, <laughs> I'm not sure that sweet corn. Is that nice? I got it from B&M. I don't think sweet corn could taste different depending on the brand. Mm, I'm not sure on that. That is not normal sweet corn compared to like the ones you get in the shop. I don't like that. Blech. Won't be putting that in. We'll just be having tuna pasta then. So Albie and I have just had a cheeky mid-afternoon bath. Um, he wanted to get in with his new bath bomb so I thought well I need to wash my hair so we'll do it now and I thought I'd quickly show you what I use on my hair my hair is so frizzy and curly naturally I did have some keratin treatment on it at the hairdressers in December the start of December which I highly recommend if anyone's got frizzy hair like mine was uncontrollable um, and then this is what I also use so I did use the Wow Dream Coat Spray, but it's so expensive. I do have a tiny bit left, so I save it for special occasions. But it's so expensive, and you have to use quite a lot um, to get the effect, especially on my hair. And it, I've, I've, on my hair, it wasn't lasting three days, um, not even one. So um, my hairdresser recommended I use this one instead. So I use the Tresemme Keratin Smooth, and it does wonders for my hair. Then I use, sometimes I use this. Um, which is a super blow dry cream. Um, I do like the Dream Lengths range. I used to use their shampoo and conditioner religiously. Then I use um, the Wow Tonic from uh, Wow. <laughs> the, the, sorry, the Dream Cocktail. It's like tonic leave in treatment and it just leaves my hair feeling so smooth. And then I use oil as well. I just use the L'Oreal one. I feel like everyone uses this or the Mythic Oil, which is also L'Oreal. Um, so that's what I use to do my hair once it's once it's like washed and everything. And then, hello darling. What are we doing? Oh, well we playing this game is the bane of my life. He's obsessed with it, he got it for Christmas. I don't know why I purchased it because these end up everywhere. We've lost half of them already. I think they're under the sofa, so we need to get them out. But it's the most annoying game ever, just if anyone is thinking of getting it. Um, but anyway, on my hair, I've been using, I use the Wow conditioner and I use, um, I got some shampoo from TK Maxx. It was down to seven pounds and it was originally 50. So I was like, yeah, I'll grab that. <laughs> so I use that as well. And then I use, sometimes I use the Keratin Tresemme hair mask. But at the moment I'm trying out the, is it the Garnier hair food one? I'm trying that out at the moment and it's really good. Obviously, in a dream world, if I had all the money, I'd use, like, K18 and all of that. But for right now, this is my, like, on a budget dupe. Are we really playing that game right now? Okay. <laughs> this is my hair once it's blow-dried. I've just literally blow-dried it. Um, if you... I know it still looks a little bit frizzy, but if you'd see my... I'm trying to think if I have a picture I can put on. But basically, my hair usually... It's very similar to Albie's and it's naturally curly So and I've been bleaching it since I was like 12 so naturally it like when I tell you it was uncontrollable it would literally be like I mean this bit's the most frizzy yeah when I tell you it would literally take me two hours start to finish washing, drying, straightening my hair and even then it wouldn't be straight like found this um, which is like a beads on a string I used, I used a tutor I, I'm my degree is in primary teaching, so whilst I was at uni, I tutored, and this was something I had, so I gave it to Albie. And we've just been practicing our counting, haven't we? Oh, yes, and we now we're going to do a puzzle, and then I'm going to straighten my hair. To end anything yesterday, um, I actually got the days muddled up when I last spoke to you. So <laughs> yesterday it was cancel subscriptions, which we went through. I've had some amazing feedback from some people which have cancelled subscriptions. And um, Amazon are really good, actually, if you've got an accidental subscription with me. I did this a few months ago. Um, 
I signed up to Hey You back then. I don't even know what Hey You is, but somehow I signed up. So I went to Amazon live chat and they refunded me. So I don't know how or when I signed up to that, but I did apparently. But they refunded me everything I paid. So it, uh, they refunded me about 20 quid, which is not to be sniffed at. So today is to get rid of at least five bits of clothing. I've started going through Albie's clothes and <laughs> I regret everything. I should have just stuck to the five, but me, I was like, no, I'm gonna have a proper clear out and now I regret everything. It's been a tough day, two days, because Albie's not very well. I think he's got a sore throat, um, but he's very clingy. We've spent most of today in my bed. He comes down for food and then wants to go back up and cuddle. Um, and like has to be touching me, has to be cuddling me. It's very intense, but it's fine, obviously. He's not well, so that's what we've been doing for most of the day. She's been coming down to let Stanley out for the toilet and obviously get food and things, but no, then we're straight back upstairs, apparently. We've watched so much Disney Plus today. That was one of the subscriptions I definitely did not cancel, and I'm so glad. It's coming very handy today. We've watched, we haven't watched any PJ Mar um any Paw Patrol because my sanity can't take it anymore. <laughs> Does any other parents do this? <laughs> I'm about to treat myself to a cereal bar and secret. If I, if I have it in front of Albie, he'll want one. Which is fine, he can have one, but he's also eating Avengers chocolate right now, so he doesn't need a cereal bar as well. And I know if I go and eat this in front of him, he'll want everything and I'll be left with nothing. <laughs> so I'm gonna eat this in secret and then go back upstairs and cuddle Albie, I'm guessing. I'm gonna try and sort through his clothes. Let's see how much we get done. <laughs> Does anyone else get really emotional <laughs> about throwing out the clothes? I really struggle with throwing out Albert's clothes. Um, I am going to keep, I do keep all his, most of his Christmas stuff because uh, when we have another baby, obviously, it'll fit them and there's no point rebuying it for them when they're only in it for, what, like a month um, of each size. But these, um, they're from the white company, but I got them secondhand off Vinted, so I don't know why I'm so attached to them. These pyjamas don't fit him anyway, otherwise I'd make him wear them all, all year. But they don't fit him now, but I just think they're so cute. Um, this is my current situation. <laughs> I've maybe bitten off more than I can chew, but that's fine. Just surrounded by tiny toddler clothes and regretting all my life choices, but there you go. <laughs> okay, when No Spend Jan is, ever, is over, nobody let me get any more clothes for Albie. He does not need a thing until the summer but I'm going to show you some of the new bits he has which are the last new bits he's going to have for a long until the summer because uh, it's ridiculous the amount of clothes this child has is ridiculous um so I got him some socks from Primark these were a bargain they were what two pound eighty for ten um and they're just black because I'm so sick of like sitting and pairing up socks so <laughs> some socks uh, this actually my mum got him for Christmas but I thought I'd show you anyway it's so cute and it's backwards. <laughs> it's just this little jumper from Zara that says Albion. It's a little bit big at the moment, but it, it looks all right. It just looks oversized. Then from, I can't remember it. Yeah, Uniqlo. I didn't know they did kids. We went in to look for the boys, me and my cousin, to look for our partners. And I didn't even realise they had a kids section. So I got this jumper and oh my goodness, if you could feel how soft it is, it's just beautiful. So I got him that. Again, I sized up so it'll fit him next year as well. It'll be oversized this year and should fit him next year. And then I also picked up this Zara jumper, which I did the same. I bought in the size up, um, but it actually it looks massive. I don't know if this will fit him. We'll see. Um, if not, I'll save it for next year. But it was, but I can't remember how much I've taken the tag off, but it wasn't that expensive. Um, and it's so soft. So I've done the Christmas bit. Um, those bits are stained, so I need to go in the bin. Got my vintage pile here, keeps pile here, and then I'm just going to put these new clothes away. Oh, and I've got a little ironing pile there of things that need to be ironed, and we're definitely getting somewhere now. And here is Albie's dinner. Normally I'd add some cheese on it, but we don't have any. And sometimes I'd add tomato sauce, but I don't want to open a whole I don't have any fresh made and I don't want to open a whole, all the camera's steaming up. I don't want to open a whole pasta sauce for that tiny bit of pasta, um, so that's the safer bet. But
extent of my shopping continues and I've just had two parcels turn up which I think are from Vinted. <sighs> These are all January purchases I made so no judgement on the no spend Jan thing. Um, okay, first up I got this bundle for Albie. I literally said yesterday I do not need him any more clothes but yeah, there I was ordering him clothes online. Um, so I did get him <laughs> these leggings and these ones. Um, to be fair, he did need more leggings, so I'll, I'll let myself off on that one. Bottoms are one thing we were a little short of. Um, and then I also got him this little set from Wild Rain. It's just like a Hot Wheels dupe because he is obsessed with cars at the moment. Um, and I'm really funny with his clothes, like, but I like this. This is, th that would be nice, especially for like nursery, you know, and things like that and then another one I don't even know what this is I knew I'd remembered I'd ordered the bundle what else have I oh something else for Al oh yeah something else for Albie I ordered him this which he had when he was younger in oh there's marks on it oh I'm gonna try that's so annoying I'm gonna try and get those out in the wash very annoying and that vintage is so annoying now you have to send if something's faulty you have to send it back but you have to pay to send it back so I did buy Albie this but it's got little marks on it there which has annoyed me I'm hoping they'll come out in the wash because they did get better when I just spat on it <laughs> essentially um but this he had when he was younger in and I loved it and I should have at the time it's from Asla George and I should have at the time bought him the next size is up but I didn't so I regret that so when I saw it I was like oh I have to buy that but it said it was very good and that is not very good so I'm going to try and sort that out now this kitchen up because we're currently in post breakfast mess and get ready we're going to take Stanley out for a walk <laughs> in a minute Albie is so much better today but still not 100% so I don't want to like we I did want to take him to soft play this week but I think we'll save that for next week yes darling look what mum got you what do you think of this? Look, do you like this outfit? 